Lake Las Vegas is dead. It's a ghost town. Yeah. Except for that guy. <laughs> there's one. There's one guy walking around. Chicken, where are you? You gotta come up for air sooner or later. There it is. Hey guys, we're up here at uh, Lake Las Vegas. And today we wanted to talk about PFDs, personal flotation devices. Um, the story starts out that uh, we bought our boat prior to the holidays. My mother was very concerned about wearing life jackets. Well, nobody wants to wear a life jacket. These bulky things are ridiculous. You wear, well, I mean, they're good. They serve their purpose, but you know, you have these that, that you wear if you're gonna be playing in the water with a flotation device like, like this, you know, that, that you buy, you know, something that you pull behind the boat. And God forbid you have to wear one of these old fashioned <laughs> nonsense things. One of the people that we subscribed to, You First Outdoors, he was wearing a life vest um, from Onyx. So we looked it up, we found it. Uh, big shout out to, to You First for that. <laughs> it does it for you. If you happen to fall in the water, if you get knocked out of your boat and you're unconscious, it automatically senses um, that you're in the water and it inflates and the way you go. And the manual one is just like a parachute. You pull the rip cord and, uh, and it blows up. It all operates off of a CO2 cartridge. So you, <laughs> you wanna get some spares. I'll show you the spare kits. You wanna test them before you use them. Okay, I tested mine, the, the manual one. <laughs> While laying in bed one night. <laughs> there and you then, go. Uh, <laughs> what did we do? We tested the other one in the bathtub. Yes. Oh, come on. I'm drowning already. <laughs> okay, so this is how we're going to reload and repack the AM24. First thing we're going to do is take this thing, your CO2 cartridge out. And you'll see a puncture hole in the front of this thing. That's what inflates this thing when you pull the string or if it uh, senses water bobbin. I'm going to show you that here in a second. Okay, so we're going to take this new one. Wasn't supposed to screw it in that tight. Damn it. Boy, that's a testy little thing, isn't so it? So when they're done, you have a little puncture wound in your It's really dealio. sensitive. Yeah, that's a little little uh, too sensitive. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. This is how you deflate it. You take your oral tube, oral fill tube, take the cap, turn it upside down. Pressurize that check valve, or depress that check valve, and it'll all deflate. You wanna push it around this way. Because your tube is here, you wanna start from this side, push all the air around this way. All right, so once that's spent, check the date on your bobbin. Shouldn't be more than three years old. If it lines up with the slots, it should go in there fairly easy. Make sure there's no gaps right there. Okay, so don't screw it on so tight. So you just screw it till it turns green. Did you see that? Hey, don't do it anymore. Don't give it any more because the last time we did it, you'll see this. That's why it always helps to have some spares. <laughs> All right, so now we're rearmed. We got a new bobbin in there. You have your, uh, 
pull to fill dealio. Get everything flattened out. Make sure you're good and deflated. They try and make this idiot proof <laughs> with these lines here. So you're supposed to fold this under. And you're better off to make sure everything's good and flat. And we've already been messing around with this thing for a minute so it's not good and flat. Make sure your straps aren't tied into your Velcro. Pull this under all the way to the top. Now you can watch this video on the Onyx site if you want, and they make it look very easy. It's not quite that easy. But anyway, then you take this and you fold this over, put all your packing crap back in there, and make it line up with your Velcro. This is why I don't skydive. Because <laughs> if I had to pack my own parachute, I'm sure to die. This is the arming and repacking of the M24, which is just stands for manual. This one, you actually have to pull this. So, to start this one, we already tested this one, as you saw, I tested this one in bed. Since I already pulled the string on this, this is down. So this has to be... Maybe you gotta put that up before you screw this in. Yep, apparently so. All right, so you screw in your CO2, just make it snug, doesn't have to be too tight. And then you put in your green ready to fire pin. Okay, that means you're ready to go. All right, same thing with the other one. Just follow the instructions. Fold it in all the way to the top. Hopefully you can make it work to the line. which I can't seem to do. Then you fold this over and you line it up with your Velcro. Again, make sure your pull string is sticking out so you can grab a hold of it if you need it. Tuck everything in, hook up your Velcro. And on your top, that should be folded over. Fold that down. Make sure everything's tucked in. And you should be good to go. Once again, make sure that your pull string is accessible. Should you find yourself in the water, you gotta be able to reach that, give it a tug, and uh, it will inflate. So our local club. Yes. Chef Paul. Paul. Uh, he has a couple of food trucks. Hopefully we're gonna do a video with him pretty soon. So, yeah, super cool guy. Again, big shout out to you first outdoors. I'll put the link uh, to his channel in the des description below. Thanks again for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Thumbs up, like. Thumbs up, like. Share with your friends. See you guys on the next one. We're on our way to go get the boat. Yay. Off to another adventure tomorrow at Willow Beach. Is that where we're going? I think so. Yeah, Willow Beach. All right, we'll see you then.